Well, we're talking about uh, blizzard conditions out towards the east of us, and it's you know kind of a tale of a storm that just keeps on giving. This is the mm -hmm. same system that brought us the snow on Christmas Eve. It kind of retrograded, headed back west, and just giving us bands and bands of moisture and strong winds. I'm gonna take you out right now. This is a live picture. This is out in Burlington. You can see for the most part, uh, we do have a lot of blowing snow out there, reduced visibility. The good news is we have improving conditions. So the blizzard warning that was in effect has expired, expired at the bottom of the hour. So good news, we do expect those winds to gradually start diminishing in and around the Eastern Plains. I wanna show you right now, this is another live picture in Lyman, a little bit less in terms of visibility out there, blowing snow and some cold temperatures. We have those temperatures in the 30s. Again, visibility down to less than a quarter mile, but the good news is a blizzard warning has been lifted and improving conditions for the next couple of hours. I wanna show you where the winds are right now, uh, but basically about 30, 40 miles per hour. Nothing like we saw in the overnight hours. We saw those winds gusting in, in excess of 60 miles per hour. And here in the Denver Metro, some light winds. We also have some snow showers on radar. I wanna show you for the most part, uh, just to the south of us, Castle Rock saw a lot of snow in the early hours, but that is starting to come to a, a wind, winding down right now. Still some snow showers. Again, not good news right along the uh, Kansas border. That should wind down along with the winds, but still dealing with areas of blowing snow, not quite blizzard conditions out on the eastern plains. Now here's a look at your weather headlines. Winds decreasing out east, clearing skies for the metro, and yes, we've been looking at uh, some warmer temperatures, so the snow we did see will start melting over the next couple days. Currently sitting at 37 degrees here in the Denver area. We have mostly cloudy skies with north winds at about 15 miles per hour. Most areas are waking up to temperatures in the 30s, the exception up in the high country where temperatures are in the teens, and also in the 20s and statewide, you can see some of the colder readings out towards the west of us in the single digits up in the Aspen area. Now, Futurecast is gonna show you that we're gonna see partly cloudy skies, a little less in clouds as we head towards the afternoon hours. Temperatures in the 40s and those decreasing winds are gradually coming to a minimum about 10, 15 miles per hour. So some breezy conditions still in the afternoon and evening hours, and we'll see those overnight lows into the 30s, but again, partly cloudy skies and hopefully some improving conditions as far as those travel conditions on I-70 heading east to the uh, Kansas border. As far as those high temperatures, we'll top out in the lower 40s for a little later today and even warmer temperatures in our seven day forecast. As we head into Thursday, look at that temperatures back in the 50s for Friday, Saturday to Sunday, a little bit cooler for uh, New Year's Eve, but New Year's Day, partly cloudy skies, temperatures in the 40s and the next chance for some light snow possible on Tuesday with daytime highs in the 30s.